Hello everyone, it's me, Squirrel Girl, aka Bridget Ashwood. I'm finally getting around to recording some uh, little mini tutorials I've had planned for a while. Um, bear with me because I feel very stupid talking to myself, but I'll do the best I can. This first tutorial I wanted to share with you was how to easily select and color line art in Photoshop. Um, this is especially helpful for pieces that really aren't stark black and white like pen and ink contrast line art but for pieces um, it'll work perfectly for black and white high contrast like pen and ink line art but it also works really well for scanned in gradient pencil drawings that have a lot of shading and, and subtleties and it's a really simple way so there's no need to spend lots of time selecting and uh, mucking around with things alright so what you're gonna do I have a document open here and um, ignore this layer I've made over here that's just for, for show in a minute. What you're going to do is select your background layer, right click, duplicate the layer. I'm going to move this to the front. I'm going to turn off my background layer so we don't uh, get confused. And making sure that my new layer in the document is selected, I'm going to go into channels. Now, you've got you know your red, green, and blue channels here, and then you've got the, the channel where all three are combined. We're going to work on the combined layer, RGB. We're going to hold down uh, command button on a Mac would be uh, control on um, Windows. You're going to hold down command to control and then you're going to left click on the layer icon picture. Not on the layer over here, not on the title bar of the layer, but on the layer icon picture. So command or control and click and you'll see that we've selected that layer but we've selected the art on that layer, the image. Now it reverse selects it. It basically has selected the white. So we're going to inverse it so that we have selected the dark, the contrast. We're going to go back to layers, select inverse, and you'll see we now have all the dark parts of the, of the image selected. Uh, now to show you how we can then easily color this, make a new layer. I'm going to pick this pretty mint green here, and I'm going to fill this layer. Deselect. I'm going to turn off what we had on there and I'm going to turn on my white background so you can see that she's now completely colored this lovely mint green and we can have all sorts of effects here um, with this ability to easily select the artwork. Now one thing of course one thing you can do with this which is fantastic is you could go in and do lots of different colors in different areas. So we could have pink over here. We could, you know, start in here and, you know, do some blue in this area. We, you know, rainbow effects every which way. It's really easy. Uh, additionally, I'm going to delete this. You can also play around with how the selection works for this. So for instance, I'm going to duplicate the layer again. I can go into contrast, brightness and contrast, and I can play with this layer and really kind of pump up the contrast on it so that I can control how much of it I'm actually selecting when I do go back in. Oh, where's control? There it is. So you'll see that this is now getting ahead of myself. You can see that the amount that was selected this time was different than the amount that was selected before because we heightened the contrast. Okay, so hopefully that's helpful. Thanks for watching.